Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, hello. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, click that subscribe button and you won't miss anything in the future. This is a channel all about messing about with aquariums, basically. Today, I'm looking at ways to turn your aquarium into a smart aquarium, if you like, using nothing more than an Amazon Echo device or anything capable of using the Amazon Alexa application and something like this this is a, a three pack of smart plugs so you're looking for wi-fi enabled smart plugs you don't need these for everything um, but we will need these for some of it mm. that's alexa that's why i'm whispering alexa these are wi-fi enabled smart plugs i've got three of these for 30 quid off amazon itself and um, essentially connect to your home network over Wi-Fi and you can control what these turn on and turn off and you can use the Amazon Alexa skills to add in a few more features so we'll take a look at some of them. Tip number one is flood prevention. Uh, this might just be me but I tend to flood my aquariums in my fish room on a fairly regular basis so this is a good one for me. This might just be one for me I don't know if you fill up your aquariums with a hose or something like that or if you're as forgetful as I am but for instance, I will often use this method, clamp a hose in, turn it on, and then walk away for an hour. It should be 10 minutes or so, but. So what you can do is simply set a timer with the lights to say, set a reminder for 10 minutes time, and it'll let you know to come back you want to get a little bit smarter than that or you think you might miss a reminder you can get smart plugs that have motion, uh, moisture sensors or you can get leak detectors and things like that as well which will incorporate it into it and send you alarms and alerts and let you know that way but I find that the timer works just as well it doesn't rely on you having to fiddle it about while you're holding on to wires and hoses looking for your phone to set a timer you can just shout out and it's done Number two is as a lighting controller. So like I said before, anything that you can plug into one of these smart plugs, you can control with your voice, with an Amazon Echo device or Google or whatever it might be. This uses the routines skill. Depending on the smart device you get, there will be different connection advice, but just follow the instructions on how to set it up and how to connect it into your Alexa. Then what we want to do is, once it is connected, go into the Alexa app. We're going to look at routine, so we'll go on devices here, we'll click on the menu button, we will go to routines. So routines, as you can see on this page, I've got several set up, but we'll set up a new routine. And we want to spend something happens, so you say something or do something uh, and it'll happen. You might want to do it a different way. So in here, if we just wanted this plug to be a timer uh, to switch the lights on at a certain time and back off again, you would use schedule. If you click in schedule in there at time, you would select the time that you wanted to do it, whatever that might be, okay. Um, whether you wanted to repeat it every day, you probably would. There you go, you've set a schedule. So at 4.43 p.m. every day something will happen. And if I click in Add Action, that can be Turn On The Lights. And if you want to do that, we go down to the Smart Home, Control Device, and then you find whatever one we've called the light. So in this case, it was Light 2. So at Light 2, every time, uh, 4.43 or whatever it is, you turn the power on. So save that and jobs are good in. You want to add another one to turn them back off again. There should be an option in here that you can add an action called a wait. But it seems the maximum wait you can add is four hours and you probably want a longer lighting schedule than that. But that might be useful for something else. So much like using a regular timer on your plug, just use this Wi-Fi version and use the skills. They're not that much more expensive and you can get a bit more out of them. Number three is as a general reminder taker. So if you're doing any kind of maintenance, quite often I will change my HMA filter cartridges every six months. And when I change it, I make a mental note that in six months time I'm gonna to need to do it again, but I never actually remember to write that on a calendar or I never remember to put it in my phone or whatever it might be. So now I just say, Alexa, 
set a reminder for six months time, change the filters. What's the reminder for? And then she asks you a load of questions like that. Well, for example, Alexa, set a reminder. What's the reminder for? Change the filters. When should I remind you? Six months. What time the 20th of July should I remind you? 5 p.m. Okay, I'll remind you the 20th of July at 5 p.m. That way you get a prompt either on your phone or from your device itself and it'll let you know that it's time to change those filters again. And that could go for anything. It might be filter media, it might be carbon, it might be something else. Anything that you do on a fairly regular basis, that will really help you out. Because it's easy to do. You don't have to press any buttons, you don't have to do anything, you just have to say it. Number four. Have you ever noticed that if you feed flake food or something like that, you don't turn your filters off, it quickly you put the food in and it quickly gets scooped away into the filter intake and you're effectively wasting food. So you go down and you switch your filter off so as the food's got time to gently float to the fish and then you forget to turn it back on again and disaster ensues. Uh, again, using the routines element of the Alexa skill, you can set whatever watchword you want, dinner time, whatever it might be. That will pause the filter or kill the power to the filter for any time that you set. So it might be five minutes, it might be ten minutes. You can do your bit of feeding. You don't need to remember to turn it back on again because it will do it for you. If you wanted to add another routine for feeding, for example, same as before, go into the new routine when something happens. And in this case, we might say voice. So you say, Alexa, fish, dinner time. Mm -hmm. Save that, add an action, smart home, control device, and that might be the pump that we want to turn that off whenever we hear that. Next, so when you say Alexa, fish dinner time, it will turn the pump off. I want to add another action, a wait of, let's say, 10 minutes or so. Let's give them plenty of time. So when I say Alexa the fish dinner time, it is going to turn the pump off, wait 10 minutes, we need one more action to turn the pump back on again. And you can see it's gone out of order there, all you do is click the two little lines there and put that where you want it. And get it back into the right order, so turn off, wait 10 minutes, turn on again, save, job done. Number five is the one that I've been using the longest. Now you can go as elaborate as you like or as small as you like, but it's using Alexa to do your water changes. So I use them uh, downstairs in my fish room. I will have one method, but the one that probably translates to most people is for my big display tank. So we can go and have a look at that in a minute. But if, essentially I have a water storage but outside that's insulated and heated. It's connected with a float valve, so anytime any water leaves that storage but it automatically refills, ready to go. I have a pump in that storage, connected to a hose, I drag the hose in, put it into my display tank and just say the magic words and it starts pumping water into my display tank. So, the tank in there and out on the balcony is a box full of water stuff. So on this side we've got an HMA filter which just dechlorinates the water essentially and a water storage tank with this big hose attached to it. Take that, put it in the tank in the living room and that will switch the pump on when I tell it to and empty this and then this will automatically refill with the float valve which is that thing right there. Ready to go the next time. I get that a little bit more refined in one of the tanks downstairs. I don't do it all that often, uh, but again, using a routine, I have two pumps. Uh, I have one in the storage and one in the aquarium itself. I set pump number one to go on, which empties the tank and spits that into the drain. That runs for two minutes, because I know how long that takes to empty the right amount of water. Then there's a pause. Pump number two, which is the one in the storage, uh, one in the storage box kicks back in and refills and then when that's finished it cuts off again after one minute because it's a bigger pump and then the water storage itself refills 
It takes a bit of playing around to get that right and dial everything in, but it can be really useful and it means you can do water changes sitting on your bum and not doing anything. If you found any of those things useful, let me know in the comments which ones you've either tried or you might try in the future, or if you can think of any other um, ideas that you might use Alexa or something like that to do something in your fishy life, let me know in the comments. As always, hit that subscribe button uh, if you liked what you saw here, hit the like button if you did, hit the dislike if you didn't, and let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye!